Okay, I seem to be throwing out a lot of E4s. I'm an E4 man. But what I'm going to do is in the next series, I'm going to look at these strange openings one more time. And this guy's being very safe and cagey with his little pawn pushes. Let's just castle. So as soon as we see this type of stuff, what do we do? We just develop our pieces, make sure that we've got our pieces in a nice shape and just start pushing forward and, you know, ooh. Let's go here. Let's take here. This looks quite interesting. Let's go here. So as you can see, I've got my pieces potentially working together. They're developed in the, in the board. So at least then it gives us something to work with. Let's just go here for now. Okay, so they're going castling type thing. Um, I feel like going here now that the knight is there so we can take smaller pieces on the higher piece. Oh. Well, let's just grab this knight. That makes for an interesting situation for us. How do we want to play this now? Let's go here with the queen. I expect his knight probably come there, but he'll get taken. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he has done as well. Because <laughs> he's attacking the queen. Damn, I didn't really expect them to, but they did. Let's go here, facing their queen. It's moving dead fast now, like he's got it all sewn up. Let's just push this pawn up. So he's got the centre bishop now acting as a pawn, so he's not really looking at playing the game of chess. He's looking at just blocking stuff down, which is an interesting situation for us. Now we're going for small development towards their king area. These little small steps now are going to be quite key for our development. Just um, if you can observe as we're going through. Small incremental steps towards their king. And just bring the rook up. It's facing the bishop as well. Could have actually taken the bishop but felt like putting a bit of pressure onto the queen. Let's take the bishop now. So these small incremental steps that we talked about easing our way through towards the king area not forcing anything just nice and steady it's not saying it's winning but it's a nice sort of concept to have in your head so he's got two on one there just bring the bishop here attacking the rook rook's move so now we could in essence bring this rook here to attack this pawn but it's got a two on one at this moment so i'm going to bring my Queen off of line. He's probably looking to push this pawn, but if he does, then the queen takes. And what's happening here? He's got an attack here, but there's nothing else supporting. Our rook doesn't have any support, but he's got one piece on there now, so we can bring our rook here, like we said, for a two on one. He's defending with his rook. His rook is on a white square. We could challenge his queen. But if we did that, we'd lose the bishop. So how do we make this work? Could push on to his queen, but then he's going to take... Could push this pawn, but then he'll take that pawn. What options do we have? Do we have any secret stealth moves like rook taking here, pawn takes? No, not yet. So... I'm inclined to bring this bishop back. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. This queen coming here to attack our rook, bring the bishop around, blocking this rook, but also targeting along this diagonal. We do have a pass pawn here, but we can't push that just yet. I'm going to block the rook in, but is he wanting to have the rook blocked in because 
he's looking for his rook to come here and then he's facing our king could block it by just basically blocking here let's do that simple block could have actually taken the pawn here with the rook was that more fearful his rook coming here could have taken was it a missed opportunity is his rook just going to go back again and we've missed a vital crucial opportunity that's with me moving too fast again as you oh well he's gone down anyway with the rook so he's protecting there rook takes rook takes rook takes bishop can come here and attack his rook let's do that and he's moved to the side interesting could protect but then he takes our pawn let me see how we want to work this rook takes his rook takes rook takes king takes no that won't work will it queen attacks his queen he does have our pawn there I'm going to attack the queen because we do have a minor piece up so maybe we don't need to be too greedy we do have a pass pawn as well let's take the queen I don't know if that was an oversight or if there's something I'm missing and uh, take this rook and take the pawn here So that seems to develop dead quick. So we're not in a bad position. So he's now looking to push down onto this side there. We do have like a pass pawn, like we said. So do we want to spend time pushing the pass pawn first? He's looking to try and if he takes, then our bishop can take. So I'm going to push the pass pawn. And bring the oops, excuse me bring the rook behind so now there's not much really that can be done let's go here with the queen and take with a check so then we can take the pawn and I think it's and black's resigned okay interesting game